April Fools. Haha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello peeps and welcome back to Sky Factory with Friends Episode 5 Part 2. You didn't think I was really gonna switch formats to 10 minutes, did you? Come on, you can't do anything in 10 minutes. And I even left hints too. I mean, come on. I used Direwolf's 20 out uh, Direwolf 20's outro. <laughs> All right, the so um, just play it. Yeah, so if we got a spoils bag, just derping around trying to build that thing. Oh my god, building that thing was a nightmare. So what do we got? We got some bread. We got some more electrical steel. We got a couple of these tiers. Unfortunately, they are not the same as gas tiers. We got some force shards. We got a safari net, and we got a staff of traveling. This staff of traveling is ridiculously dangerously dangerous. Because it acts like an ender pearl wherever you right click it. Yes, it can throw you right into the void if you're not careful. So. Ask me how I know. <laughs> how do you know, Dagger? Because I've done it. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> what we are going to do is we're going to finish setting up the mob trap. We're going to equip these autonomous activators with some stone swords just to get them started. We're going to replace the vacuum hopper on the obsidian chest that we have here. We have to use an obsidian chest because creepers do occasionally explode. And when they explode, I'd rather they take out the vacuum hopper than, you know, the entire mob trap. Hence all of the obsidian. But I think we have it set up so that mobs will have about one heart when they hit the ground here. And then the autonomous actuator should make very short work of them as long as they have a weapon in their inventory. And cat, don't you dare start yowling. Alright, so, what we need to do is we need to make another autonomous, or another uh, vacuum hopper, because I had one on there, but it got destroyed. And then we need to go put a roof on this thing, but first we need to build a mod item. This mod item is going to use a bit of iron. Where's the rest of our iron? It's in the iron chest. Oh, the cooked, I cooked items chest, yeah. Mm -hmm. And with this, we're going to make some iron bars and an iron bar with a piece of iron on top and a slab at the bottom or did I get that backward I got it backward it makes a fan from open blocks the fan from open blocks pushes you if you put it down it will very slowly push you in a direction opposite of the fan hey knock it off now the range of effects seems to be about nine blocks. However, the question I have is how far to the side does it work? It works one block to the side. It'll even work two blocks to the side. So if we build a second fan, I'm trying to figure out the optimal spacing for the fans. If we have a second fan and we skip two blocks and put another fan there, we shouldn't be able to hit a dead zone where it's not going to push us. But if we have it three blocks away, will we be, will we be able to hit a dead zone? There's one, two, three. If we put that there, is this a dead zone? No. So we can get away with three. Come on. Break it. Thank you. Okay, so we can get away with three. Let's take a crafting table upstairs with us. But yeah, man, I'm, I made the comment about the test certificates, and yeah, we have an elevator here, so we can go up, up to the top. We probably should patch this, now that we have a way to get up here. And what we need to do is we need to place these fans onto the sides here. And if we go, I think, one there, then we skip one, two, three, and one there.
And then I'm going to use torches to mark out where they're going to go. One, two, three. There. There's a dead spot there. on these two One, blocks two, three. between there. them. So if a mob spawns here, they're not going to get well, taken. Well, we're going to gonna fill that off. in with cobblestone. All right. Yeah, I mean, these three blocks here are, not, are all going to be dead blocks. All right. So we need, what, three more fans? Yeah. I'm going to put one there, one there, and one there. Now, these fans do have a slight downward reach to them, so... In order to safely get out of here, we're going to have to, let's see, we need to come down here and we got to break these out. we got to get these torches out. Um, the fans aren't going to push far enough. It'll push the mobs yeah. to right here. So we need to shorten this up by one. There we go. One there. One there. One there. Okay, let's get the rest of these torches out. And then let's check the operational range of this thing again and make sure it's going to push us into the channel here. Need to break my crafting table. Okay, so... Mm hmm Yes, it will push us into the channel. That's what we needed it to do. Because if it's not going to push us into the channel, then if mobs do end up in here... Can we crouch and keep them falling off the edge? I don't know. But we need to take those out. And then over here, we'll fill in the dead zones. Now mobs can't spawn there. Next step, we need to get some conveyor belts. Because conveyor belts are going to be what's going to move the mob into the kill channel there. Now notice I'm still getting pushed up here. Yeah, these fans have a little bit of a vertical range, so. So let's get ourselves some conveyor belts. Conveyor belts are three rubber an iron, and two redstone to get 16. By my calculations, we're going to need about... Well, we don't need that there. We're going to need about three sets of them. So I cooked up plenty of iron, we got tons of redstone, and we got tons of rubber. So... Now, placing these conveyor belts is an exercise in patience in itself. And it's going to get dark soon, so we got to get a move on. Because when you place these conveyor belts, they're going to be going in the direction that you're facing when you place them. Which makes it really interesting to place the last couple. immediately wants to pull you along as soon as you land on it. Now here is a fairly major problem with these. You can't jump while you're on them. So now I've got the fan trying to blow me onto the conveyor belts.
And don't mind the occasional smacking noise. I'm currently munching on some Werther's Originals. God tier candy. We actually need one more set of these conveyor belts. I get you. I have all the materials on me. Okay. <laughs> the last set needs to be placed on the ground level anyway. The last set is the set that pushes them into the actuators. So, that is going to take care of the majority of the mob spawner. The last thing we need to do is we need to ensure that mobs can't spawn on the roof of this thing. So we're going to use cobblestone slabs for that. Now spiders can still spawn on these blocks, so we need to extend this up like that. not going to hurt anything. I don't think. No, that won't hurt anything. That will. Uh-oh. Grim, no! Uh. At least the actuators aren't in kill mode yet. <laughs> yeah, to turn them off. Yeah, we had to turn them off earlier because we were doing drop testing where we were throwing ourselves into the channel to see if it was deep enough to bring a mob down to one heart. And, well, when you're doing that right next to an autonomous actuator, it can get pretty dangerous. Now, I just noticed I'm being blown by the fan. <laughs> okay. That should fix everything up here. So now, all we should need to do is go down to the bottom, and then by just simply standing around for a few seconds, we should start hearing massive amounts of mobs hitting the ground on the inside of here. In preparation for that happy sound, let's make a bunch... Well, we've already got our first visitors. Let's make a bunch of stone swords. And for right now, we're just going to put all of these in here, and we're going to set this to round robin use. We're going to set this to enabled low. Oops, we forgot to block this off, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Okay, that one's set to round robin low. So is that one. I nearly pissed myself when the stupid Enderman fell and died. You mean the Ender Tot? No, it was the actual Enderman. A full size Enderman? I think so. Enderman shouldn't have been able to spawn. I don't know, I heard. Yeah, that was an Ender Tot. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I just, let's just say I needed new underwear. We do need a way to make sure that all of our wonderful mobs are going to be getting to the autonomous actuator. So now I get to do something really dangerous and really stupid.
We really should have done this before we close off the roof. I'm kind should of an idiot. Should put a kill switch. Oh, crap. Ooh. Okay, so real quick, I need to come in here and I need to place three conveyors there. I'm going to place the conveyor there. Drop back here. Place a conveyor there. Drop back here. Oh, damn it. Okay, creepers can pull up the conveyors. I'm dead. Again. Ow. Ow! <laughs> this is getting crazy again. This oh, is what happens creeper. when your mob traps work too well. Um, tell you what. Block it off. I'm gonna climb back to the top. And throw some safety torches in there okay. to disable the mob spawning until we can get the rest of it finished. I should have brought a torch. Or a pickaxe. We gotta have a wooden pickaxe around here somewhere. There. I just need a wooden pickaxe. There we go. Okay, no mobs are going to spawn right now because I'm up here. Actually, Grim, you want to put the conveyors in while I'm up here? Uh, sure. Or, actually, you stand up here because your presence will act as a natural mob spawn deterrent. Alright. You are the off switch. We lost all our conveyors, though, didn't we? I believe so. I think that means we also lost all of the iron. Huh? I had the iron on me. Oh. Uh, the creeper blew it up. Eh. We only need a couple pieces of iron. We should have some more rubber over here by now. Oh, we got tons of rubber. <clears throat> so, no major loss. A little bit of a pain in the butt, but nothing we can't recover from. We only need one piece of iron. It's electrical steel. What do we got in here? We got six pulverized iron ore, which is enough to make an iron dust. Which is enough to make two pulverized iron. If we had power to the pulverizer. Yeah, we kind of had a small problem with the pulverizer earlier. Friendly neighborhood creeper blew it up. That wasn't the pulverizer, it was the pink generator. Well, yeah, he blew up the pink generator in a couple of chests, but the pulverizer has no power as a result, so. So I'm going to go put the pulverizer on. Not there. I'm going to put the pulverizer on the line with the farms for the moment. We really need to sort our power gen for this. I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't just put a fan to blow the mobs forward instead of relying on these conveyor belts. We could do that have them in the wall. But... <clears throat> There's our iron. There's 
There's our redstone. So there's a few conveyors. And let's go ahead and put conveyors in here. Let me out, let me out. Okay, I'm out. So, we will need to get a couple of obsidian. There's got to be a bucket around here somewhere. We should also have obsidian essence. Where's the obsidian essence at? It's either in the rubber tree farm or in the Actual farm chest. Farm products? Yeah, farm products. <clears throat> eight obsidian thus, or eight obsidian essence makes eight obsidian. So, there we go. <clears throat> Two of the obsidian we're going to use, or well, I guess one of the obsidian we're going to use to repair the wall here. The other one we're going to use right here. We need to get a hopper, which I'm just going to steal the hopper off of the top of the furnace for now. We'll get that. We need an ender pearl. And if we do an ender pearl with a hopper and a piece of obsidian, we're going to get another one of these vacuum hoppers, which we can tag right there. Grab that. Click on this interface, pull it up, and click there, and now it's going to funnel all of its drops into the chest, which we'll be able to access as soon as I break this out. You can see we kind of had it working a little bit earlier, but then a creeper blew it up, which kind of prompted a design change, so hopefully now we'll be able to avoid that. <clears throat> We're left clicking, low is required, round robin use, enable blow, left click, enable blow, left click, round robin, round robin. Okay. Uh, you want to come down, Grim? Sure. Let's Let's see, see if we get any more exploding creepers. Because if the creepers continue to explode, then we're going to have to figure out a way that we can pull the items in that um, that's not going to be affected by a creeper explosion. Fuck! Okay, so... Um, we need to figure out something else. We're going to need a fan. What if, <clears throat> what if you were to, uh, instead, like, put the vacuum hopper below? Have, hmm, try it. I just had this thought out in my head, but now I can't remember how I had it. Well, I mean, we could put the vacuum hopper in the floor. Or I guess we could put it behind them. Because by the time they're blowing up, they're up towards the front. Yeah. So putting the vacuum hopper behind it might actually save it. <clears throat> um, do we have enough diamonds to make another pickaxe? We... do. Just barely, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see, sticks... And in the meantime, oh, we had an ender top die. Here you go. Alright, for right now, I'm going to put the vacuum hopper back on top of here. Because we need to get some more stuff going into here. Oh, wait. 
Do we have any iron ore in here? No, I took all the iron ore out of here earlier, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll need to get a little bit more iron before we can really do anything else with that. In the meantime, let's shift gears away from the failed mob trap. Oh man, there are so many goodies in there. I kind of want to lure the creepers up to the front, so I'm going to break this and stand here. Hi, guys. Come up here. Get me. Um, would you want to act as a mob block real quick? Come get me, boyos. Okay, why is this not hitting him? Why is this autonomous activator not hitting him? That autonomous activator should be hitting the crap out of him and that creeper. Well, now it's going to hit him. Ow. Alright. Um, let's get all of the stuff out of here. We'll break this obsidian chest. <clears throat> and what we'll do is we'll fill in the sides of the mob trap with some obsidian. Just like that. And then we will try putting it in the back of the farm. I don't know what the range on a vacuum hopper is. It's pretty decent. I think it's five. So if we put... The vacuum hopper back here. If we break this, <coughs> put that there, put the obsidian chest there, and put the vacuum hopper on the back of the obsidian chest, that might work. Do we have any pulverized iron in here yet? 13. Hammer? Yes, iron hammer. Okay, that'll get us six more iron. We're going to need a little more, but we may as well get it cooking. There's another one. That got us a little extra. There's another one. This should actually be just enough to do what we need to do. Oh, I forgot to pulverize it. Damn. I was wondering why I wasn't getting double returns out of it. What the? Oh, starving. Let's 
Gotta get some wheat to make some bread. <coughs> okay, how are we doing over here on pulverized crap? We don't have Jack. So, we'll get the gravel out of here. We'll start working on this. Alright, um, the first thing we need to do is we need to make. Stop that! first thing we need to do is we need to make another vacuum hopper. I know there's a bunch of chests around here somewhere. Probably got blown up. Yeah, I think they got blown up earlier. We got some pulverized iron there. Not quite enough. <clears throat> Electrical steel. I know a trick that we could use to get some iron, but I consider it an exploit, so I'm not going to do it. There's a chest. Actually, I don't think that exploit exists in this version of the mod pack because we don't have industrial craft. Oh, I just saw we got another diamond. Nice. Okay, let's pulverize this first now. We actually need a couple more iron to do this, so we're going to see what we can get out of this. Yeah, we got an extra piece. Good. I think we're going to need one more piece of iron beyond this, because we need to make a fan. I'm going to use a fan to blow the mobs into the actuator. A recovery heart. Hmm. A large magic jar. What's that? What do you use a large magic jar for? No idea. There's our pulverized iron. We'll bring this up here and throw it in the furnace. And we got enough for another piece, so let's go ahead and do that. Dust. Hey! What are you yelling about? Come here. Come here. Hi, Toe Socks. You're not usually one of the yowly kitties. Oh, all right. And this should give us the iron that we need to finish what we're doing. There we go. Alright, so we need a cobblestone slab. We need an iron bar. And we need an iron bar. And there's another fan. Are you still acting as a mob spawn preventer? Mm-hmm. Alright. Ah! Bouncing all over the friggin' place. Alright, so if I put the fan behind this chest, it should still work. Is 
That should blow the mobs that way. So, let me make the vacuum hopper real quick. And we'll see if this works. If I run the right direction. And rotate that, set the output to bottom. Okay, uh, come on down. Alright. Get some mobs to spawn. And cross your fingers that it actually works this time. Because this doesn't work, I don't know what the hell to do. Of course it starts of to rain. Of course it's going to rain. No mobs are spawning. No. Nope. Oh. There was a skeleton. Or a zombie. There's a skeleton. I think I'm too close. Because when I was calculating the height, I was calculating it based on us being out this way. So if we stand out here, we should get mobs falling to their death. The entire idea behind all of this is... Oh yeah, now we got them falling. The entire idea behind this this mob trap that we're doing is to get mobs to spawn and fall and die when we're just going around going about our business. This is designed to be basically a worry-free mob trap. Now, two questions we have. A. Is the vacuum hopper going to be able to get the items that the fan is blowing away from it? It looks like it. Yes, the vacuum hopper is able to get the items. It's very slow about it, and it does seem to miss some items in the corners, so that's kind of worrisome. And it's also not doing a really good job of... Oh, it's there's a bit of a lag. Yeah, the vacuum hopper isn't able to get the ones that are really close. So I'm going to risk moving the vacuum hopper one closer. Actually, I wonder if we sink this chest into the floor and put the vacuum hopper up here. That was an ender shot that just got killed. Is that going to be close enough to draw everything in? Yes, that'll be close enough to draw everything into it. Um, if we have a half slab there, is it still going to be able to pull things through? Because that might give it a little more blast shield. Oh man, this thing is working overtime now. Holy crap, this thing is efficient. 
the experience the experience drain on here is already full. So let's get ourselves a piece of glass or a couple of pieces of glass. What's a magic jar? I don't know. What well, about to find I have, out? I have no idea what the magic jar does. I actually have one on me too. We'll interface with this and we will go. The back is allowed to output experience and we'll put our tank right there. And that is going to fill the tank with mob juice. Liquid experience. Now, spiders, it seems, are still kind of tricky. Spiders can still get away from it. So I might want to come over here and occasionally clean out the spiders. I think this I think the fan might actually be saving the spiders, which is kind of stupid. Like I think the fan might be blowing spiders up. Oh. <laughs> so I might want to put some iron spikes in here or some cactus in the walls. Okay, well, oh, that hit our platform. It did? Yeah, it didn't set anything on fire, but that lightning strike hit something. Alright, well, this actually took a bit longer than I was expecting it to. We're past the 40 minute mark. Ooh. So, um, but the swords are holding up well. That's a good sign. And we're getting ender tots that are survive that are like being killed in the fall. How are we doing for loot? We're getting quite a bit of loot. Magic jars, large magic jars. Hey, we got a creeper trophy. Yeah, I saw that. We got some string, we got some golden stuff, we got plenty of mob heads. We're getting ender pearls, which is awesome. I wasn't expecting to get ender pearls out of this. But I guess the creeper tots. Or not the creeper tots, the... You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And we've got three buckets of mob essence already. Oh, we got a carrot? Which would be awesome if we didn't already have one. I'm... I'm really curious to see whether or not the vacuum hopper is going to survive a creeper explosion. That's kind of what I'm waiting on. Yeah. Because if the vacuum hopper can survive a creeper explosion, then we're in good shape. If it can't, then we have to think of something else yet. Anyway, I think we have done... Oh wow, I'm collecting a crap load of experience. Apparently dark craft magic bags may be... Recharge your Darkcraft magic bar when you pick them up. A Darkcraft magic bar? Apparently. Okay, so if we drop these on the ground and then pick them up. Oh yeah, it's an, it's not an item you're supposed to be able to normally pick up. Drop it on the ground and pick it up. Uh... <clears throat> Alright, anyway, I think we've done enough damage for one episode, don't you? Mm-hmm. Plenty right. of damage. Yeah, plenty of damage. And this is nothing considering all of the, you know, damage that I took just dying trying to set this thing up earlier. Just the structure of it. And trying to help you die more. <laughs> yeah, Grim trying to help me ended up getting killed a lot. Oh, we didn't show you this. This is a computer craft computer with an advance, or with a monitor showing 
all of the tier one challenges. God, that was such a pain to set up. It kind of glitches out if you get too close to it. All right, so I think between episodes, we're going to let the mob farm run. We're going to process a crap ton more gravel and recover our iron stocks, because right now we've blown through all of our iron. Um, I think they're going to keep working on the house. Oh my god, that's a lot of cats. What? <laughs> Kitties. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, there's just ocelots all over the place. Bring you memories much? Yeah. It does look a lot like my house now. Anyway, peeps, this has been Night Dagger and Grim with Let's Play Sky Factory with Friends, Episode 5, Part 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this longer, you know, more me episode. Now that it's not April Fool's Day anymore. <laughs> and we'll catch you later, peeps. See ya.